So today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, is about using every block in Minecraft. So I thought, oh, I know a fun intro. Let's say every single word in the English language. But then I Googled it and there's 171,476 words in the English language that are currently being used. So for example, if I said one word per second, it would take me over two days straight to, to do that. So no one wants to see that. Instead, I'll just say one word, the most important word, subscribe. Okay, let's start the video. That was so cheesy. Now today, we're going to be trying to build a house using every single Minecraft block. Now, a few years ago, this wasn't a very hard challenge, but today it is a hard challenge as let's look at how many blocks we have. Oh, oh, I made the world in survival mode. This, uh, how? Like I was saying, look how many blooming blocks we have now. It's so many. Like even modded Minecraft didn't have this many blocks years ago. So our first challenge is to lay out every single block in this area here. It's gonna take a while, so time lapse. Yes, time lapse. Now, this took 15 minutes just to place all these blocks down. And I forgot how many different types of colored blocks and how many just weird blocks there are in Minecraft. So this is probably going to take a while to sort of like work out how we're gonna put all these together. Also, let me explain what I have chosen as blocks and what I've left out. So this is a lot of blocks. A lot of these are just from the 1.16 update. We've had so many added since then, but you may notice there's no plants and stuff as I'm not going to class things like this as a block because you know they're just different each time whereas all these ones here they're all consistent with how they look whereas plants they get placed in different sections of the block but I will probably be using some of them at some point for example things like bamboo I quite like using but I'm looking at this and I'm kind of freaking out because I just kind of don't know where to start probably going to have to build a colorful house inside it's gonna have to be pretty colorful we're gonna have to have like a never portal room with all these dark blocks here i think and the way i'm going to do this is i'm going to pick a block out of here and then remove it like so and then i'll use the block and that's how i know that i've used that block so by the end all of this will be gone so i guess we better get started by building the exterior of this house oh no right Let's think, let's think. So actually, I didn't actually get started on the actual house yet whatsoever. Instead, I've just started building up the terrain, which may not look like a lot right now, but soon you'll see we start to add quite a lot of stuff in, including these sort of like mountain area here. And we actually managed to use up a decent amount of blocks doing this. I did in some mushrooms, some plants, some trees, lots of different types of trees because we've got to use every single type of wood, plus a few little mini areas like this little seat here. And we've got a little sort of weird section at the front as well. And it's looking quite nice, if I do say so myself. We've got a lot of color in here, as you can see. We've got the granite path, which I've actually used some brown mushroom blocks. I think that fits really nicely with this sort of texture here. I've never really done that before, but I like that. Up here, we've got a bit of puzzle coarse dirt. We've got some andesite in here. I've like terraformed all around the side of this as well to try and make it look a bit nicer. So that's used a fair amount of blocks. We've got some beehives here, some bee nests in the trees, some like little red stained glass, white stained, gray stained glass over here. Underneath the water, we've got mossy cobblestone, gravel, bedrock, shroom lights. We've used acacia. These are all the uh, dead coral blocks over here. I've used every single one of those, plus some basalt, plus even smithing tables and just like literally just used everything over here. It's kind of crazy how many blocks we've managed to cram into this one place. But I think it's looking good at the moment. And I was like, okay, we've, we've, we've done a lot of blocks here. We've probably used up at least half of them. <laughs> no, we've barely used any of them. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. I am freaking out. There's so many blocks here. I don't know what to do with them all. <gasps> I, uh, I guess we better get started, eh? Eh? Yeah, okay. Well, let's move on up to here where we're going to build a house. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I leave enough space to double layer the walls inside this house. And we're going to try and use as many blocks as we can. Oh, it's going to be a challenge. But hey, that's the whole point. This is 
a, a challenge. Also, I truly hate these guys. Okay, okay, let's get started. Oh, so many blocks to go. So obviously we can use a lot of blocks on the interior of this thing, but we also need to use a lot of blocks on the exterior as well because we've got so many to go through. You see me change this up quite a lot here, but we've got a couple of different colors. I'm thinking, right, of adding quite a lot of different colors on the exterior of this house and splitting it up into two sections. We have like sort of a red side and we also have a blue side. You'll see in a second what I mean. We actually haven't built the blue side yet. We've just done the red side where we've been using some bricks, some red terracotta, red concrete. Plus we use some warped planks on the roof plus some never bricks in some places. It's very tricky to use all these blocks, okay? And so far the house is looking quite weird as you can see. I'm not sure if it's going to look nice but we're going to try our best. We've got this weird chimney here which hopefully will look okay but the idea is right this is going to be the red side and then we're going to have a blue side sticking out this way and coming out to here right so hopefully that will look okay and then we might have another tower over here I don't know but I'm not sure yet and I'm not sure what color I would make that either way it's going to be a tricky and a bit of a messy affair there might be something in the middle here as well I don't know and look how many blocks we still have left <laughs> So many, so many. Let's get to work. Oh my gosh. So we got working on the blue building a bit using a bit of prismarine on the bottom and we used some warped planks or whatever it is called. I can't remember what it's called. On the top and also some blue stuff as well. I just wanted to make it blue. We also used the jungle roof because I didn't use jungle yet. So I thought, yeah, well, we'll go for that. And then I also added on this little section here. I say little, it's huge. It's bigger than the blue section. And also this weird roof thing. I was just going for some strange designs. We've got to use so many blocks. So I was just trying to fit in some weird designs like a rainbow roof, for example, which I regret. It looks hideous, but I've used up those blocks now and I don't have to think of them anymore. So I know what you're thinking. Joel, what does this look like with shaders? Well, it doesn't make the rainbow roof look any better. I can tell you that. But the rest of it actually looks quite nice with shaders. Look at it. Very colourful. Also, I haven't finished this back bit yet, so just kind of don't pay attention to it. It's still very much a work in progress. I added in this wall as well with these fences, and there's actually a lot of blocks in this thing. We've got like jungle trap doors, the lecterns, loads of different types of fence gates, walls, trap doors, blocks on the roof here, blocks on the roof there, more blocks over here, lots of blocks in here, and I've actually done the entrance of this bit here as well. As you can see, it's quite nicely decorated using up five different quartz blocks. Very, very nice. Now, before we decorate the interior of this thing, I'm going to quickly finish the outside. We're going to add some more trees in, etc. Maybe do some rocks. Let's see what we can get done. So here is where I did a lot of block dumping and you'll see what I mean in a second. We also added in three new trees. You can see the spruce one here. Plus we've got like a weird sort of jungle wood tree, but with acacia leaves. I also did an acacia wood tree with jungle leaves. I don't know why I did that. And as you can see here we've got this lava pool and this is what I'm talking about block dumping. I just wanted to make this area use as many blocks as possible and you'll see another area where I've done the same. Actually, I say the one area, there's a couple. We've got this area here where I've sort of made it like turn to ice. We've added some snow in, plus some of this warped neelium. I added some honey dripping out of here onto the floor. I'm getting desperate. And then this is where we're getting real desperate. We've got slime coming down into a slime pool here where we've just used a load of random blocks. In fact, let's just place some more in to make it look like it's spreading. But yeah, we, we were getting quite desperate here. This is what I mean. Like we've done acacia leaves on the jungle tree. I kind of like it. And then we've also got an acacia tree with jungle leaves which I don't like as much but luckily that one's hidden away and some hay bales in we got some little random bits around like this some lights in a big coal pile here as well and I think we're finally ready to decorate the inside and hopefully we'll be able to get through with these blocks here I can't believe we've still got one glass block remaining I bet I could use that somewhere here because why not and then we'll burn it because it's not going to be used again Anyway, interior. This is going to be hard to time lapse. So instead, I think I'm just going to do it. And then I'll uh, I'll show you what's happened. Also, I've left this. This is going to go over here as well because I'm, I'm desperate. Perfect. Oh, it fits in so well. It was, it was what this area was missing. It wasn't. We've just got so many blocks. So although I didn't time lapse the interior work, I had my recording software on anyway. And you get this fun little time lapse here of every single block slowly disappearing as we come and use it. And yet yeah, they're all gone. Are you ready for the tour of the worst interior you've ever seen? 
Well, well, you better be because it's coming. Firstly, I use some of the glazed terracotta blocks in here and I also use the coral underneath the water here because I couldn't fit them in anywhere. Secondly, please don't expect anything good. This is not good. I'm I'm warning you now. But here we have a little porch where we've got some diamond armor. We've got flowers. We've got some quite nice colorful hallway blocks and stuff. Plus a beacon, because why not? And a sea lantern, because why not? And look, random glazed terracotta. Ooh, fun. In here we have the kitchen, which honestly isn't too bad. We've got all the things you'd ever need. Some chests, a fridge, some barrels for storage up there, plus some more chests out here. We've got a nice little glazed terracotta on the porch and a view outwards. Uh, but this is honestly the best room. From here, it just gets worse. In this room, we've got a little dining room where the seats are massive. But you can kind of, you know, sit in them. You can make your way up. I can't get it exactly right, but yeah, they're quite tall. They're, they're as tall as me. I feel like a child. And we've also got some chicken in an item frame and a little cupboard. I don't yet. Over at the end of the corridor here, we've got our celebrations room where we've got some diamond blocks, a flower, the ender dragon head, and some gold. I was running out of ideas for that room. But through this doorway here, we've got a staircase and look, ooh, a lamp block with some hidden redstone underneath it. Crazy. And we head up here and we ignore the fact that there's a gap on the roof here because that wasn't there. And we've got a little empty corridor, but we've used some glazed terracotta, lovely. And then we've got our shulker box room where we've got shulker boxes. I, I had to put them somewhere. But we also have a nice little balcony. Ooh, lovely. And then over through here, we've got our enchanting area. Wow, glazed terracotta ceiling. And look, level 30 enchantments. Unbreaking free and smite. Curious, can I get fortune on this world? What? I can't get it on my survival world, but I can't. Okay, well, anyway, through here, we've got another little corridor and nothing and a little entrance over here. These kind of just, yeah, loop. That, that's it. And, 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 and that is, that, that is it. We've used every block, but yeah, it's, it's not nice. It's not nice whatsoever. I, I also just left the floor up here brown. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's all we got, did. But we've used every single Minecraft block here in this build you can find every single block. I also added this thing here, which is some sponge. Um, yeah, yeah, that's about it. That's everything. That's everything you'd ever need in a build because it's using every single block. Now, would I recommend you do this? No, don't. The end. But all in all, this is quite a pretty build still. If you ignore the fact that it's got the rainbow roof, it is not bad. It's actually quite nice. I like all the different types of trees, the waterfall in the background, the shape of the house is quite unique and funky. I did a flag on up here as well. I forgot to show that. We've got a mix of everything. It's got some diagonals in it. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. So I feel like this challenge has been successful. Unfortunately though, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye.